supposed to start in, in uniform and with dignity. <laughs> the more things change, the more they say the same. <laughs> you and I have been for about three years now. We've been ready to work together. Yeah. Really work really hard, kids. We talked with them about five minutes ago. So, we did a lot of stuff this weekend about energy and flowing and so forth. And I'm going to try to do something we did a couple years ago and see if it actually sticks this time. I'm going to show you... I'm, I'm going to show you a uh, positional flow drill. It's for those who, these guys who have excellent skills, who are amazing grapplers, and they're some novices. But this is something either one can use basically because you're working any positions in a flow. And the idea of getting good constant energy and keeping good pressure. So uh, if Eugene doesn't mind helping the first part, Eugene's, I'm going to do the opening and Eugene's going to do the finishing. He's going to show you how to finish somebody in those different positions. Alright? Yeah. If you might just lay it down with your head face in that direction. So, but the idea of the drill is to keep a little bit of pressure on the person. You go here, take the person's arm, come across, come up here, slide across, back here, pull here, hook here, come around. You've covered a good majority of the positions there. You've done side hold, you've done scarf hold, you've done north-south, you've done inverted, and then finally you're doing mount. If you can do this for flow, that's when you have to start with positions you can do with it. It's not so much that blur of body motion just happening. You actually have a little bit of structure. As James says, I like to put things in boxes and have things in structure. And we're retentive that way. So we're gonna that's no problem for you. So what I want you to do is we're gonna do the first part. You basically make your leg into an L and a V. My arms behind his neck are touching his shoulder. And I'm making it nice and tight to my body so I don't even have to use my arm. You hear that? Uh, I'm putting pressure. The reason I'm putting the pressure there is once you go, um, go to the back door. It doesn't look like I'm doing a lot and I'm not. The pressure's 25% of, of taking of his torso prevents the rest of it moving easily. So I'm using very little energy. He's burning all of his. And I'm in a nice comfortable position that allows me to go into some nasty stuff a little bit later. So we're going to go from here, I whisper sweet nothings, to he starts to want to push on my face because he doesn't like me. I come across, knee up. Do we get that far? <coughs> get a partner. We're not, we're not worried about submissions yet. We're not worried about um, any type of chokes or anything like that. What we're looking at is just the mechanics of flow, of getting the ability to shift our weight on our opponent or partner. All the years I've been doing grappling and all the martial arts, there's a couple things that always kind of stand true. Offense is hip to hip. Hip to hip, you're close to the person. If I'm back here, you feel afraid? If I'm here, we have a different story. Hip to hip. Defense, hip away from hip. Space. So I'm trying to make sure when I'm being offensive, there is no space for him. When you're grappling, you really should be able to close your eyes and feel where the person's going and actually you grapple better. You don't rely upon your eyes, you don't rely upon what you think his body is. You rely upon where he is by the feeling. I mean, Daniel will tell you, when he's rolling earlier, are you looking where you're going or feeling where you're going? You just kind of naturally roll, you flow. So you have to learn how to shift keeping that constant pressure. So I'm going to go back over here. My knee's up. I'm going to slide my other knee. And you can ask Eugene, I'm putting pressure on his neck right now. And sliding across. <laughs> so I'm trying to be nice to him. But you're putting pressure so he can flip flop around like a dead fish. Not dead fish, but a floppy fish. And I'm making it so my knee slides across his stomach. I want to actually push a little bit of air out on him. Okay, because I'm a dick. All right, so I'm gonna put that air out. 
went to this position, we're in the mountain now. I can now grab the shoulder, spin, and hold his legs. <laughs> Sorry. No, it was a, it was a thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm putting a hook in it. I believe in hooking the person as much as I can in any joint that I can find. So, we're across. Would you, would you mind starting at the top? Oh, no, I don't mind at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%. So we're here. We're in a nice, deep, solid position. He pushes his hand up, he doesn't like me. I push across, whisper sweet nothings, cut my hands. My knee comes up. Slide my other knee in. Bring my knee across. Okay? From there, this is kind of important, this part. My finger's gonna hook underneath this pit. And I got it. Okay? All right, start. Push the space. Yeah, the person. Actually, too much space. Now I'm going to go north south. I'm going to take my arm, push it on his head. I'm going to grab the back of his bicep, uh, tricep, and I'm going to spin. You like that so far? And then from there, this is the toughest part. I'm going to shoot my right leg through. Okay? One more time for that piece. Yeah. So, north south, have the tricep. Can you go from the side? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, so, we're here. My elbow's going to push his neck back. And the reason that is, I just made his spine no longer straight. He just was weakened. I grab his tricep. I'm going to reach my other arm. Incidentally, this tricep grabbed me. He could make it hurt, but oh, yeah. he's not. <laughs> he's just holding it, but it, it, it will hurt if he squeezes even a little bit more. And I'm, and I'm in front of you nice. So I'm going to spin my north and south. This arm is pinching this one back. Right leg shoots in, nice and tight. Okay? Can you look at Eugene's face, by the way? He's being turned to the side. Once again, I'm making the spine not solid. If he has a nice solid spine, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm screwed. It's just a bad day for me. But if I turn his face, what do I do now? So is that where your weight is concentrated? Is on his face? 80 20. 80% of my weight is on his neck and face, 20% is on my hips and his body. And even from the point of view, it's easier for me to relax and face from here. As soon as he turns my head, I've got a whole number of universe of things to think about. It's a lot of pressure again. Yeah. It's that pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay? We good? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go. So pressure also, stays. Also, this, his, his elbow in my right arm is terrible. If he slacks off and lets yeah. me bring it here, my level of comfort goes up like 100%. That's when he starts to, this is just, ah, it's, it's terrible. Uh, so that, from here, my left leg is going to shoot with my hip. It's like shoot my hip and spin. Okay? Is your weight staying fine? Ask him. Yeah, he should still be a nicer than you could. <laughs> His hips are riding a little higher. If I was fighting him in that moment, I would try to stick, pop, and stick my hand in the side. Normally, I keep all the pressure up here. And if he scoots his feet into me, thrust his hips into it, then. Yeah, I guess that's because that's so Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice to you. Yeah, he's. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not light, so. so. Keep him nice and tight, right across the chest. Pressure the entire time. Alright? <laughs>
pushing downwards. Or, or I guess it all be legal in MMA, by the way. I'm what? breaking it here. Oh, it. I'm not choking. It's a break. I'm going to kill the guy. And the guy's life will be over. Or he'll be paralyzed and neck down, then he'll die. But here, that's what I'm doing. I go into his eye socket here, if I want to be nice, or crush his nose. <laughs> I crush his nose, too. <laughs> but if I want to kill the guy, I come here, or I grab my shoulder, and look up. All right? So, a bunch of positions where I'm on his, on his back, okay? Okay, someone's hands are up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open, and then these hands are going to switch here, and then I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit the arm, and come here, and break it. Here. When he goes down, I put him on all fours. Put him this way, I grab his neck, here, and I lift this. But, so if you have the same thing, but you have my jaw, that's where my neck's in trouble, right? If I have your jaw, your jaw will be in trouble. But if I have your head turned, okay, all right, then, then, then I can break your neck by leaning backwards. You take his leg out, you're dead, yeah. That way. Or, if I punch in here, you turn your head this way, you can easily break your neck this way. Okay. Or bring the yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm bringing this neck forward. You're a Gumby. <laughs> then it would drop him. Yeah, this wouldn't kill him. My head doesn't do that. But this would paralyze him from oh, yeah. the neck down. If I drove out of his neck. If I'm here, I don't have to do this. I can break his neck here, drive him forward. Just put him on his back, lay on his neck, and choke him there. Grab on him tight. Easy, okay. That's the one I want, I want to take. Thumb screw. <laughs> Go ahead, keep holding. Right. Or, what was that? Is that Japanese? Thumb screw. What? <laughs> or this. He's grabbing me. Yeah. I do one of these. But see, it makes me, he gives up his elbow. Okay. I put his arm on the ground. I slap it in here. Sam, move, please. <laughs> Okay. Oh, come on, Mike. Breathe the pain out. Breathe the pain out. <laughs> Mike, excellent grappler. What I do is I start to shoot a foot him by pushing my foot here. If he doesn't know what he's doing, he'll scoop my leg. Scoops it. Scoop it. That's fine. Get you pretty. Okay. I put my ankle in the crook of his elbow. I take this hand, if I don't do this, it won't work. Okay? Or both hands. Okay? If I want to reverse him, I let go of this hand and I push him over. And then I come up in this hole. He reaches with this. Okay? And then I get both the catch holds. But this one. I don't even need to go forward on this one. I can just do this. Okay? Like here. Okay? But if I want to apply pain, I put that on. Okay? But this is enough. This the fight's over. I'm here. Put my weight on my back of my wrist. He's going to go to sleep. Whether he dies or lives, it's up to me. But this arm is mine. It's never getting loose. Never getting loose. Some, some smart ass in the tournament or seminar wants to oh, punch you with this hand. Okay, go ahead. Punch me. Because I was going to ask how you counter, like how you get out of these things. <laughs> I, mean, I can tell you right now, my shoulder, my neck, and my arms locked. You're real stuff. I, I'm, fairly, stuff. I'm pretty flexible in some ways, <laughs> but even if I try to turn, it's, well, it's okay. locked. <laughs> 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 Mike, you got a wrap. Okay, great!
puts his hands up. I'm going to do the same. Yeah, I throw a punch. Five. Even if he retracts, I'm just going to go in on it. What I'm trying to do is stuff. I'm trying to stop him. But I don't go hit him and then see what happens. I don't admire my work. I just hit him. If it hits him, great. Right? If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If it does, like you're in. He's all for half a beat. Okay. I moved in and okay. And from here, all I'm going to do is that throw. From here, elbow that, kick, and back to the <coughs> Face out this way, walk your hips that way. From here, like, how do you pull a car around? The cops are coming. <laughs> <laughs> got me in the guard position, alright? I start to grind him. If you don't like it, my thumb and the pressure point, that's number one, okay? Number two, right there. You have to grind. It's called a thumb screw, that's what I call it. Okay? He brings this down and scoops. There. He, he's, what he's doing is he's rebounding my leg. Okay? I sit down on his leg. I broke his toe, I broke his ankle. Oh my goodness. Someone's like, some dumbass audience like says, yeah, I'd kick you with this leg. I grab this, I bring this. Your leg is, your ankle's history. I grab this. And I break this one. Okay, I turn it towards you. Make you go on your stomach. Make you back. With the leg. Okay, so. Question to come. Oh. It you sucks. Could you, could you show the photo of the first one again? Yeah. You did. I'm gonna remember this. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sam. Tonight. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Tonight. It's the night. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mike stay in the same room. Oh boy. Let me see something. Black eye or black eye? Get up there, man. Here. Oh. Grab me. I can't see. And see, if he's grabbing me, oh, he's it accentuates my okay. hold. Because mm. ah. okay. he's, he's pulling. Relax now. It'll still get him, <clears throat> but not as much as when he's tense. So I get this, pull it, bang, it's over. He then comes block. Okay? You should feel it. Come here. He puts his leg in here. Eugene. <laughs> I sit back. Like, <laughs> oh. what have they done there? Here. A lot of guys make this mistake. So it's just straight straight his leg up. Belly. Straighten your leg. Not too much strength. His own. Like, like his own. Right. I gotta go here. Oh, oh, right. Right. Now I got it. But he had it on it's the other leg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Try to kick it. Ah, that makes it worse. And then this one. Ah. Let's try this. In your butt. Probably made that like a real.